Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Samuel Borden and Henry Bird. This game was played in London in 1873. Borden had white pieces and he started with e4. Bird played e5. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5. Knight to c6, defending. And Borden played bishop to b5. And we have Ruy Lopez or Spanish opening. Bird played knight to d4. a6 is the most popular move nowadays. But in our game we have knight to d4. It is white to move. Should white capture the knight on d4 or the pawn, which is for free on e5? What do you think? Knight takes knight is the best move. And that is the move played in the game. What's wrong with knight takes on e5? It is not recommended because of queen to g5. Okay, so we have knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Borden castle at the king's side. Bishop to c5. c3. Knight to e7. d3 c6, attacking the bishop and preparing d5. Bishop to c4. Bird castled kingside. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. King to h8, preparing f6. Borden played queen to h5. The question, should black play f6 or not? What do you think? d5 is the best move in this position. But Bird played f6. Not the best. Why? How should white continue? What would you do? Well, Borden did the right thing. Bishop takes pawn on f6. And now if pawn takes bishop, then the queen takes bishop on c5. So in this position, Bird kept his cool and played d5. Bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. e takes on d5. What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for black. Ready? Perhaps b5 is not a bad move. What do you think? Not bad. But Bird captured the pawn on f2 with rook. Hmm. It is a white move. How should white continue? What do you think? What is the best move for white? King takes rook. Rook takes rook. Knight to d2. Well, king takes rook would be the worst move because of queen to e3 checkmate. Well, what is the best move? The best move is actually the most simple one. Rook takes rook. But Borden played knight to d2. Well, let's check rook takes rook. If rook takes on f2, one line goes like this. Bishop to g4. Attacking the queen. Queen takes bishop. Queen to e1, check. Rook to f1. D takes on c3. This is check from bishop. D4. Queen takes rook. Bishop takes queen. C takes on b2. Pawn takes bishop. Pawn takes rook, promoting to queen. D takes on c6. Queen takes knight. C7. How should black continue now? What would you do? Perhaps this is the strongest move. Threatening checkmate. But now, if rook takes queen now, what happens then? Then white is winning. Mm, that is interesting, isn't it? Okay, so in this position, perhaps rook to c8. 
and it is unclear. So definitely, rook takes on f2 should have been played. But we have knight to d2. d takes on c3. Knight to b3 attacking the bishop on c5. c takes on b2 attacking the rook on a1. Rook from a to e1 attacking the queen. Rook takes rook. This is double check. King takes rook. Queen to f6 check. Queen to f3. Queen takes queen. Pawn takes queen. It is black to move. Black played a move and white resigned. What would you do? This is the move. White resigned in view of this continuation. King to e2. Rook to e8 check. And after king to d2, rook takes rook. And after king takes rook, pawn is promoted to queen. And we can stop here. And we'll go back to this critical position when white failed to play the best move. Did something like this ever happen to you? I'm asking funny questions, aren't I? It happened to everybody. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.